Okay, so the first thing you want to do is personalize this. So download those files, uh, right click on it, you want to extract all. Uh, I'm saving mine on the desktop, so uh, if you're using a different location, make sure it's going to a place where you can find it later, then extract. So here it is. Uh, you won't know that you can't use this. Uh, you see it'll show it to you and you'll do stuff in here, but it'll be lost. So make sure you extract it and use the uh, open folder, the one without the zipper when you're doing stuff. Then open it. Let's see what you've got. Click on package. It'll launch the Blue Jay for you. And then main so you can run it. And so what I gave you as the default you see the title in the frame here is Talk to Bad Teacher, uh, and then this picture. So that's what we're going to personalize. Choose something else. Make it your own. Um, to do that, let's go to Edge. Uh, so use Edge, and then enter the, what you're interested in using. Um, I'm going to do Cute Puppy. Uh, you know, whatever interests you. And then choose images, images. You see here you get more choices. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See this filter button over here? We want to make sure we're using stuff that uh, it says we can use. So click on that. And over here you'll see license. So on the license, choose free to share and use, uh, free to modify, share and use. Uh, Creative Commons, Public Domain, all of these are good. We just don't want to use pictures that people still have copyrights on. So I'm going to choose Free to Modify, Share, and Use. And here's some choices. This guy looks pretty friendly. These two look excellent. Um, this one's very nice. So find something. Whoa, the world's smallest little dog here. So I'll choose this one right here. So right click on a picture when you find it and then save the picture as. Now Blue Jay we can use .png uh, or .jpeg. Um, I'll save this one as Puppy so I remember its name. And it'll put it on the desktop for me. See up here. You can choose a good location. Uh, desktop's always nice. Save. And here's my picture. So what I want to do now, oh this one's super cute. huh? Okay, well, oh, that one's very cute. Okay, well, no, I already committed, so we're done with Bing for now. Close. And then what we want to do is use paint to resize. I can see the original picture was 2 by 300, so that fits in my frame. So I'm going to choose open with, and I'm going to select paint. It's very easy to resize and paint. So right here, the resize button, and choose pixels. This one's about the same size. Do you see that 268 by 175? Uh, if it's got the maintain aspect ratio, a check mark there, it won't just stretch it in one dimension. It'll resize the picture when you change one of them. So I'll say this 200. Do you see that one automatically adjusted so that it's scaled the same? And then when I click OK, you'll see it makes it bigger. OK. And then you also have this option. Uh, to get rid of the stuff you don't want. So here I'm saying select. Rectangular selection is easiest to use. I'm going to mark uh, a box of what I actually want. So I want just the puppy himself. I could keep the hand. That's not bad. Okay, so there. And then up here, click crop, and it'll get rid of the space you don't want. And then I can resize again. Now I can make it a little bigger. Uh, so vertical, maybe I'll go 250. Okay, that looks about right. And then up here, click Save. And now the picture you saw just adjusted there to the bigger size and cropped it for me. So I'm done with paint now. Close paint. And what I want to do is throw it in the folder that is the Blue Jay package. So you see here I've still got my Blue Jay package. Uh, just going to drag that over. And now puppy.png is the picture I want to use and I need the package to call that instead of bad teacher so reopen that in Blue Jay and then open editor so I can find the location of that and in the text here uh, you should replace your name here but you can do that later 
Uh, down here, I loaded the picture using class loader. So class loader right here. Class loader get resource. So we want to change the name of the resource. It says bad teacher. Now it should say uh, puppy dot png. And here's the text description. So it's now a description of a puppy picture. So that'll take care of that. I did not change the name right here. Do you see? I didn't change the name. So it'll still load it in uh, the piece of the frame I loaded it in before. So just change the resource name. And the other thing you want to change is that title bar on the J frame. So here, uh, you see this my J frame line? The text that prints in the title bar is right here inside the quotation mark. So make this match what goes with your picture. Uh, I'll say talk to cute puppy bot. Okay, make those two changes and compile, so it sticks. And then you should run it to make sure you're happy with it. Edit, void main string. And here we go. Talk to cute puppy bot, and here's my new picture. So again, change the title uh, on the frame and find a picture you like uh, and use paint to resize it. And then when that's done, uh, you can start doing the worksheets using your own uh, chatbot.